it's a common thing to choose warm destinations for holidays. On the contrary, any person that sets off to the north or to the Arctic in some way always takes a risk. But the north and cold quickly sharpen the sense of life's value. That's why people are probably attracted to these places. People that decide to go to the north believe in dreams and in beautiful legends. They believe in luck. People who decide to go to the north are romantic. Hello from the northern capital of Russia. Here I'm waiting for my friends that will join me for the Arctic trip. And I don't mind waiting for them in these beautiful surroundings. Meet my friends that I will go to the Arctic with. This is Vika. She is half Tatar, half Udmur girl that hosted me in her hometown in Udmurtia region. She is a tour guide in the Ural Mountains, so she knows a lot about surviving in the cold. And this is my Russian friend Ksyusha from Ufa city. I met her during my expedition for cleaning up the Arctic, so she is already familiar with the north and cold as well. Кандалакша – это мир на берегу да, Белого давай, моря. Давай. Я знаю. Ну, 
Kandalaksha is an example of a typical industrial town in the Arctic. It's a small town, but this is a major transport hub in the region with a commercial seaport. Kandalaksha is located on the shores of the White Sea, which is part of the Arctic Ocean. For several years, I dreamt about swimming among the ice flows of the Arctic Ocean. And finally... It was like yoga in the Arctic Ocean and we played with the ice pieces and it was quite tiring. <laughs> By the way, I have a tradition on my channel to hide Russian matryoshka dolls with a note from me and 100 rubles in places that I visit. This time I leave it at the guides of Sub Sever Company. They organize ice floating in Kandalaksha in winter and paddle boarding and kayaking in summertime. You can contact them on Insta to book a tour and have some unforgettable time on Kola Peninsula. Meanwhile, we decided to head further north in the Murmansk region. We found an ice bath, but it's frozen, so we will try to do our own bath. <laughs> Morning exercising, let's go. Я впервые делаю свою прорубь. Кстати, мы круто согреемся до проруби. Vika decided to take not an ice bath, but a snow bath. А что надо сделать? Прыгнуть. Пойти туда. Да. И там лечь. О, Господи, зачем вы это делаете со мной? Просто ты... О, Боже! Все, спасибо. Я это сделала, да? Вика, как впечатляет? Очень необычно. Теперь прорубь. Нет, спасибо. Welcome to the Arctic. Ice bath beyond the Arctic Circle. The only thing that is cold is toes. <laughs> I love the ice bath. It's 
enigmatic somehow. <laughs> I'm already woken up, of course, but after this, you feel that you wake up again, kind of. And I love the fact that you are not fearing and avoiding cold, but you face it. We're not afraid of the cold anymore. А вам нравится жить на Кольском полуострове? А у меня здесь такое занятие, что это грех, что мне понравилось. Люди миллионы тратят, чтобы этим такое удовольствие получить, а я еще и денег зарабатываю. Это я вы не... про такси? Да нет, не что. А про что? Да вообще я похож на таксиста с такой машиной? Нет. Я капитан корабля в Тилиберке базируюсь. Капитан Выходи. корабля нас везет! Капитан, у меня катера есть разные, рыболовные, туристические. Но просто сейчас я в отпуске, я дома сидеть не могу. А такси это для души. Кировск is a small industrial town that appeared on the map in the 30s, when a deposit of appetite, nephilin ores was discovered here and mining of various minerals began. However, nowadays Kirovsk is famous as a popular ski resort. The town is located above the Arctic Circle, so welcome to the Arctic life. In summer there are polar days here, when the sun never sets down the horizon. It lasts from the end of May to the beginning of July, and in winter, for two weeks of December, Kirovsk lives in polar night mode. Even though it's quite windy here, it's not that cold. Now we are in January and it's minus 10 today. For example, in Moscow, Right now it's colder, even though we are in the Arctic. Some people think that the Arctic is the coldest place and the more north you go, the colder it is. But it doesn't work like this, I guess. For instance, the region Yakutia, which is more south, it's much colder. I visited the Arctic this summer as well and some days it was even plus 20 Celsius. So the Arctic is not the coldest place and it's not always cold, but summers are indeed short, winters are very long and there are polar days and polar nights and polar night just finished here so we're lucky to enjoy some light and daytime. We came to a district of the city named Kukisvimchor and we were told that this is the most dangerous area of the city, that in this area live people who were in jail or from some uh, poor and bad families and they say that if they see tourists they can throw stones on them and we've heard about such situations. Barman сказала нам, что в Кукис Вумчор не любят туристов и нас могут закидать камнями, потому что в хостел местные кидают камни в окна, чтобы туристы не приезжали. We have no idea what to expect and whether we should be afraid or not. I met a local here, Yevdakia. Hello. Uh, ah, you speak English? Yeah, на переводчик учусь. Wow! <laughs> so you're making this snow sculpture, and how long it takes to make it? It takes uh, four or five days. So you stay for such a long time outside? Yes. Are you cold? No. Ah, because you work. Yeah. yeah. And how did you plan to make it? At first you painted it, you made a plan, or how? At first we make... Uh, some kind of picture with my dad and then we use this. <laughs> wow, so is it some kind of a competition? Yes, it's a competition. 
So far I don't find this area dangerous at all. <laughs> Locals didn't throw stones to us or they're actually quite nice. They didn't throw stones at us, they had other things to do. In fact, after the first part of the competition of making snow sculptures, the second part started where they had to make an ice sculpture just in 90 minutes. So they were quite busy locals, no time for throwing stones. you made this sculpture in such a short time it was super quick i'm also shocked because uh, it's my first time when i do it with ice was it difficult yes it's difficult for my arms are you tired yes did you manage to do everything you wanted in this time yes so you implemented your idea yes. with my father again uh, did you create the plan? Yes. We drew it an hour before the competition. Really? Wow! I didn't know that these sculptures can be made in such a short time. Yes. It's, it's really beautiful. Thank you. I hope you win. <laughs> So they just announced that Yevdakia and her dad got fourth place and this sculpture got the first place but everyone here is not for the prize only they love working with ice and snow Polar regions are cold, but they are not scary, they are romantic. And probably it's romance that gives us powers to travel beyond comfort zone and pushes us to our greatest dreams. Guys, I want to thank you a lot for watching my channel. Some people ask me how they can support my work and the answer is that the best way is just watching my channel some likes, comments, this is more than enough to help me keep making videos for this platform. And if you would like to see some videos that I don't publish here and some backstage content, you can join my Patreon page. And I want to thank all my patrons for giving me an opportunity to maintain a balance between what I give and what I receive. Спасибо. Stay warm there and see you soon.